evaluate integral of x square r cosine x dx. To calculate this integral, you can use integration by parts. In integration by parts, when you select u, right? When you select u, you can use this order, right? First logarithm, inverse trigonometric function, polynomial, exponential, trigonometric functions. I don't have logarithmic function here. Uh, I have inverse trigonometric function. Then you can select u equals this uh, inverse trigonometric function, right? So I use u equals r cosine x, right? u equals r cosine x and dv is the remaining part, right? So dv would be x squared dx. By taking the first derivative, I can find du. Derivative of r cosine is negative one over square root of x squared minus one. So du equals minus one over square root of x square minus one dx. Here dv equals x square dx. When you take the integral, you can find v. The integral of x square is x to the power three over three. Then I can use the integration by parts equation. Here uh, integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So this is my u and dv, right? The original integral equals u times v. u is r cosine x, v is x cube over three. So this is the product of uv minus integral of v. v is x cube minus three du. This is my du minus one over square root of x square minus one dx. So when you simplify this one, I have negative sign here and I have negative one. So this becomes positive x cube over three times square root of x square minus one dx. So I should find this integral. To find this integral, I can take the term inside the square root as y. So this is a substitution. I can substitute the term inside the square root as another variable. Or you can use trig substitution. Here I have x square minus one. So you can use x equals secant theta. So you can try this one. You can use a trigonometric substitution as well. Here I have used y equals x square minus one. When you take the derivative dy equals 2x dx, the derivative of x square is 2x, the derivative of minus 1 is 0, right? So dy equals 2x dx. When you apply this substitution, I first go to the denominator. I have 3 times the square root of x square minus 1. So 3 times uh, x square minus 1 is the u, the square root of u. Here I have dy equals to x dx. So I can write this x cube as x cube as x square times x. So on the top I have x square times x times dx. To x dx, to x dx I can substitute dy over 2. x dx is dy over 2. So this is x times dx. I have another x square here. To x square term, I can plug y plus one. From this one, I can find x square in terms of y. So x square equals y plus one. So I substitute all the x terms in terms of y. So this is my uh, new integral after substitution. So when you, sub, uh, when you simplify this one, you have one over six times integral of y plus one over square root of y dy. Then I can uh, divide these two terms separately from square root of y. So I split this integral to two parts. So when you divide y by square root of y, square root of y means y to the power one half. When you divide y by square root of y, you have y to the power one half. So one over six integral y to the power one half dy plus here I have one over square root of y one over square root of y so it becomes y to the power negative one half 
now I, I can uh, take the integral of these two terms, right? Integral of y to the power one half is uh, y to the power one half plus one. That is y to the power three over two. And you have to divide this by same term, right? The integral of uh, y to the power negative half is uh, y to the power negative half plus one. That is y to the power plus half over one half. When you simplify this, you can get y to the power three over two over nine plus y to the power one half over three plus integration constant. Then you have to substitute uh, back y equals x square minus one. Then you can have this answer. You can get the same answer. You can get the same answer if you use this uh, trigonometric substitution as well. 